Christians, and really everyone during this time. Again, uh, Aaron and I are big fans of John Krasinski and his show, Some Good News. You can watch it for free on YouTube. Oh, so fun. So fun. It is. All right, next up on I want to see is Cooking Under Quarantine. Gone are the days of going out to eat. A celebrity chef will show you some delicious restaurant-style dishes you can make at home. But more states are loosening their stay-at-home restrictions. I'm Doug Luzader in Washington. We'll have more on that and what the White House is trying to do now to prevent meat shortages. Just ahead. The following Money Sense segment is sponsored by Valley Strong Credit Union. When choosing a financial partner, it's easy to choose one that has the latest in online and mobile banking. But what happens when you have a problem and you need to talk face-to-face -face or even over the phone? What about ATM access when you really need cash? When choosing a financial partner, it is really important to consider all aspects of banking convenience, not just what a financial institution may specialize in. Remember, different situations require different attention. No matter how you do your banking, be sure to select an institution that can easily adapt to the issue. When making the choice, think of Valley Strong Credit Union. Valley Strong, traditional branch banking, access to more than 30,000 ATMs nationwide, and the latest in digital technology. Thank you. Once we were known as Kern School's Federal Credit Union, but today You're very we good. stand together as Valley Strong Credit Union. Oh, yay. Okay, this is Sarah Shahayev in Bakersfield. How are you today? Sarah, I'm so glad to be with you. I'm grateful. I hope you're healthy and safe. Thank you. Yes. Oh, you're so sweet. Same to you and your family and everyone that you love. Thank you. Um, okay, so look, just really quickly, let's run through the questions I'm going to be asking. Um, so first okay. and foremost, uh, I, I do a lot of cooking myself. I'm by no means a chef like yourself uh, who's, you know, gone to prestigious uh, culinary schools and what have you, but uh, I spent a lot of time in the kitchen. I grew up with a Lebanese mom, so uh, spent a lot Ooh. of time in the kitchen. But my first, my first question is going to be about reducing cleanup time because with these Lebanese dishes, if you've ever made them, you know that there's just so many intricacies that go into it. So that's going to be my first yeah. question. Do you have any easy okay. to follow recipes that reduce cleanup time? Okay, that's the first one. And then second one is. Um, about trips to the grocery store. So people are, you know, encouraged to go less, but if they are going, what are the essentials you recommend people have in their fridges and pantries? Last question, what about wine? The numbers are showing more people are have, have been indulging in alcoholic beverages. So what's your take on all of that and keeping things fresh after opening them? Okay, very good. And then I just need to incorporate my few favorite things here. Here, and I will weave them into the answers for your questions. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then the last one is going to be, uh, before we send you off, I'll say, okay, if folks want to get in touch with you or for more information based on today's interview, where should they head to? And you can plug in uh, either your social media pages or whatever it is that you want to um, bring to people's attention, and then we'll end the segment. You got it. Way. You got it. Okay, sounds good. Talk to you soon. Thank you. The following segment is sponsored by St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. We know a lot of you are looking for ways you can make a difference right now in the midst of these times. Why not consider giving to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital where there are still kids who are battling cancer and they need our help. We're asking for a donation of $100. It's all part of our St. Jude Dream Home giveaway campaign. 
And yep, you're looking at it. This is the home being given away when you reserve your $100 ticket. It's a brand new John Ball fans home located in the Montana Ridge community in Southwest Bakersfield. So now that you've seen it inside and out, here's the number to call right now to reserve that $100 ticket. 1-800-385-9134. And these phone lines are open 24 hours a day. Someone will answer. And the best part is 100% of your donation is going straight to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to help us end childhood cancer. 7.53 is the time. All right, everyone, let's talk about food. We know it's been on everyone's minds and stomachs. More and more now with stay-at-home orders in place. If you're looking for ways to get creative in the kitchen during quarantine, you're in luck. On the show this morning, we have Chef Jamie Glenn joining us with some easy recipes to follow. Good morning, Jamie. How are you today? Good morning, Sarah. I'm very glad to be with you. I'm glad that you're healthy and well and safe, and I'm definitely hungry, so let's dish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, hey, me and you both, sister. So look, I grew up spending a lot of time in the kitchen with my mom making a lot of Mediterranean dishes. And while I loved mm. everything she made, I always hated the cleanup process because the meals were always so intricate. So what easy to follow recipes do you have that reduce cleanup time? You know, I think that the cleanup time is really a function of the prep. And so when it comes to great recipes, knowing that we're sheltering at home for the safety of ourselves, our loved ones, and everyone else, if you can prep in bulk, like dice all those onions, you know, uh, literally do three or four at a time and keep them in a bag in the fridge, you're gonna reduce cleanup day after day, sort of compounded. Uh, I think that, you know, it's inevitable. We're all doing more dishes right now, but be mindful of the planning. I plan lunch at breakfast, and dinner at lunch. That's just how my household runs. Mm -hmm. The other thing I will say about mm -hmm. cleanup um, is portion control or portioning, pre-portioning. And actually Omaha Steaks will do that for you. Sarah, allow me to share with you a company that is doing good and giving back. So if you are a filet mignon lover, you love the top sirloin, they're gourmet frank, they have these combo packs Talk about easy cook, easy cleanup. Everything gets delivered to your door and they're feeding America. So they've given over 100,000 pounds of protein thus far. And when you purchase a special combo wow. pack, they will donate in your honor. So it really is a wonderful way to plan meals, to keep that cleanup at a minimum because everything is portioned and to also eat well and do good. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so obviously our trip to the grocery store had been reduced. They're encouraging us to go okay. less. So when do we, when we do go to the grocery store, what are those essential items you think every fridge and pantry should have? So there are always pantry basics depending upon your household, right? I always keep um, good cheese and some lemons in the fridge. My pantry has pasta and good sauce if I don't make my own as a backup. Um, I keep beans and legumes and I always have nuts on hand. I'll tell you, I am mm. a protein girl. And so I like mm -hmm. anything that packs a punch and I happen to be a pistachio lover. So I'm very glad you asked because there are always wonderful pistachios in my pantry. I'll tell you why they have so many uses. So these are the no shells, wonderful roasted and salted. And when I'm streaming a movie at night, this is my indulgence, but six grams of protein, Sarah, in a portion, I don't feel so guilty at all, but what I've started doing is using them in multiple ways. So when you're buying pantry items, if they have multiple uses, then you can not only eat the wonderful pistachios out of hand, but use them in place of a crouton on your salad or use them in your morning smoothie for a protein burst. That's what's really wonderful is stocking up on things that will go far. I love that. And look, I got to tell you, here in Bakersfield, we're big fans of the wonderful company as they are located here in Kern County. So that is definitely something that yes. we can get behind. Look, it looks like we're, we're running out of time here, but if folks want to get in touch with you or follow you on social media, is there a place that folks should head to? Thank you for asking. Yes. Yeah, you can go to dailylounge.com for all this info, chefjamie.com for inspiration, and for Mother's Day for wine lovers, please check out Coravin. They're giving back as well. This is the way that you savor a glass and preserve a bottle of wine. And I don't know about you, Sarah, but at the end of a day of sheltering at home, I have earned my glass from my Coravin <laughs> system. <laughs> and so I can't wait to share that info too. Dailylounge.com. Thank you for having me. Stay well.
Absolutely. Same to you, Chef Jamie Gwen, everybody. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And everyone else, please stick around. Aaron is saying it's the hottest day of the year so far. A look at that forecast just ahead. I personally thought that